Hey, it's Connor. Welcome to iFanboy Mini. iFanboy Mini is the small size version of iFanboy, the comic book show. Today we're going to be talking about Hawkman. Hawkman, that poor bastard. The reason why I wanted to talk about Hawkman was a few weeks ago I read my books and I read Hawkman Special, which is coming out of the Rand Thanagar Wars miniseries, which is actually really fun if you're into cos cosmic DC stuff, written by Jim Starlin. And this is a Hawkman Special. He's been one of the main characters in it. And in, in this issue, uh, he undergoes a major retcon. And we'll get to that in a minute. But Oh, Hawkman has always been one of the major forces in the DCU. He was created in 1940. He's one of the original DC superheroes. I mean, Superman was in 38, Batman was in 39, and then you had a whole slew of people in 1940, and he was one of those original characters. For many years, he was one of the cornerstone characters of the DCU. He was on that same level as Green Lantern, as Flash, as Aquaman. Right underneath the Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman level was Hawkman, Green Lantern, Flash, Aquaman, and even John Jones a little bit. Those, those were like the core guys. Those, that's like the JLA team. And then somewhere along the line, it all went wrong. Basically, in 1940, Hawkman was created. He was an archaeologist who was a reincarnated Egyptian prince. And his name was Carter Hall, C-A-R-T-E-R. -E and then in the, then the Golden Age heroes all went away. And he came back in the Silver Age, and he was Katar Hall with a K, an alien from a planet called Thanagar who was a police... He was a police officer with Hawk Girl. They were partners, and they came to Earth to help Earthlings fight supervillains. So that was the new Hawkman. He was a, he was an alien from Thanagar, and as a kid, that was that was my idea of Hawkman was the Thanagarian warrior. I didn't know about the Golden Age hero yet. And then the Justice Society comes back, and there's a second Hawkman. He's Carter Hall, and there's two Hawkmans, and it's all confusing as a kid. And then. Uh, and then it got all muddled. And then for all, they combined the two, so it was one Hawkman the whole time, and he was a reincarnated prince also from Thanagar, and it didn't make any sense. And then they had a whole event called Zero Hour. It, one of the things they wanted to do with that was to figure out Hawkman. They, they, they supposedly fixed him. There was this, you know, they, they had them all pushed together into one Hawkman. Suddenly, this was the new Hawkman. Didn't do any good. He was still screwed. In Grant Morrison's JLA, he wanted to use Hawkman because he wanted to use all the pillars of the just, of the just DCU, and one of the pillars had always been Hawkman, but they said, no, Hawkman's too screwy. He's got too much baggage, so he made Zareel the angel with wings. And that was kind of annoying because I'm a big fan of Hawkman. A few years later, Jeff Johns tried to work his retcon magic on Hawkman, and even he couldn't do it. He, I believe, went back to the old Golden Age idea of he was the reincarnated prince, and he was an archaeologist named Carter Hall. And he had Hawkgirl, who was also reincarnated from, and there was they were they were this star-crossed lovers who were always going to die and become reincarnated. I don't know why I'm doing this, but it seems like the good thing to do. And and that didn't even fix it. So now I I, ha I dropped off that book and I haven't been reading any books. He Hawkman showed up in this Thanagar miniseries, which leads me to believe he's back to being a Thanagarian. I don't know. I haven't been reading his books. I don't know about him. He shows up sometimes in JSA, but they don't really talk about who he is, other than he's the reincarnated prince. Um, in this Hawkman special. They basically, this, this mysterious god here on the cover comes to Hawkman and says, you're actually not reincarnated prince. He takes Hawkman back in time and they watch as the prince is not, and it's revealed he's not, he's not Hawkman. And so Hawkman's all freaking out, who am I? And, and at the end of the issue, the god calls him Katar Hall with a K. So it looks like DC is going back to the Thanagar version of Hawkman. Now, they need to do something here. Because Hawkman is a seminal guy. I love Hawkman. He's got a fantastic character design. He's got that great mask, and it's creepy, and he's got a big mace, and he beats the crap out of people with it. And he's a great character who should be used more. He should not be a forgotten part of the DCU because he is one of those original pillars of the universe. What they need to do is just say, this is what we're going with. We're not going to attempt to explain it. We're not going to attempt to make it fit because it's not going to fit. There's nothing they can do to explain it. They need to just say, here's Hawkman. He is from Thanagar, if that's what they're going with, or he is Carter Hall, and just say, boom, this is it, and run with it. They need to do the old-style reboot where they just say, this is the version, don't ask any questions, just enjoy it. And I would, I would totally do that if they did that, but who knows, There's, the companies now are so obsessed with getting everything to fit, and sometimes in a character like Hawkman, it just won't ever fit, and all you're doing now is let, letting this great character languish, and you're doing a disservice to all the fans who like Hawkman and want to see him more than a couple of pages in JSA here and there where he doesn't really do anything. Oh, it pisses me off so much. If you have any characters you want to see fixed, not by me, but if you want to see them fixed, tell me at contact at ifanboy.com. You can check out our weekly content, video contents every day, little shows like this, long shows on Wednesdays. You can go to revision3.com slash ifanboy. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.